Hello. The previous video is an introduction to Istio. It demonstrates how you can use virtual services to route your inbound requests into the service mesh in a way that you cannot achieve with the regular Kubernetes ingress. In this second video, we will start talking about security, more specifically on how to authenticate a service or a client with mutual TLS and JOT tokens. Once again, we will be doing it with some short demonstration to illustrate our points. In many cases, security is the first reason why people want to start with Istio. The infrastructure focuses on two separate parts. Inside the mesh, where it provides an identity mechanism based on a private key infrastructure to identify every service. And at the edge of the mesh, where it provides some tools to control inbound and outbound requests. In both areas, Istio helps to encrypt traffic, control and report what is happening. But probably the most important benefit of Istio is that it provides all those features without the application even knowing about them. That is why Istio and other service mesh are so popular right now. Mutual TLS and JOT tokens are the two ways that are available today to authenticate services on clients inside of an STO mesh. They both can be used to enforce security. First, Mutual TLS. So it is used to perform transport authentication or what we call service-to-service -service authentication. It relies on the internal private key infrastructure that Istio manages for you. So every Envoy proxy has a private key as well as gets certificates. Those certificates are signed by the internal certificate authority managed by Citadel and keys are automatically rotated for you. Obviously, it allows to authenticate clients and server on both sides of a connection. That's what the mutual means in mutual TLS. It is also what allows to fully encrypt the traffic on the wire. On the edge side of the mesh, we have the JOT-based authentication. JOT tokens are used to authenticate the client of a service. It is very different from MTLS in many ways. Tokens can be propagated across services so that you can identify a client at the very end of a microservice stack. It cannot be used to encrypt the traffic, but JOT token can be involved in fine-grained security. With JOT tokens, the authentication mechanism has to be managed by the client. The most common use case is to rely on an OpenID Connect that the client can delegate itself to a third-party service like Auth0. To start the demonstration part of this presentation, I will now show how you can set up MTLS authentication and enforce it by a policy inside the Istio mesh. In this demonstration, we'll set up a mutual authentication uh, based on uh, MTLS between services. So if you're interested, you can look at uh, my project that is called Card for Fun. And if you look at the blog Istio auth and directory, you'll see all the different files. So we can start by applying the echo server. So echo server is basically a service, a deployment that contains an echo uh, service. So you can just uh, query it and it will answer with the request header uh, that you've sent and that have been changed by, by the infrastructure itself. So if now we apply the uh, Nginx uh, service, we should be able uh, to get the associated pod and see that uh, it's running. Now connect to it. And now we can update the directories, install curl, because it's not installed by default. And now we can just curl for the service. The service inside is called echo server. It's running on the 8080 and basically it's working. So we didn't set up anything yet. Uh, what we'll do, we'll apply the MTLS authentication um, policy first, right? I'll be showing you how it works. So it's now created. Uh, if we look at the policy, what it says basically, it's pretty simple. It says that uh, it's a policy 
it's named after the target echo server and it's uh, use peer which should be uh, mtls so we can now connect back to our service and if now we curl the service inside you'll see that it's failing and the reason it's failing is because uh, we've prevented any access that is not based on mtls uh, it doesn't show the error that's because uh, actually uh, that's because of curl so if you just uh, curl dash v you'll see it's answering with a 503 so that means the service is not available we'll exit this window and now what we'll do we'll, we'll apply um, a destination rule for the MTLS and this destination rule right will say that uh, if you look at it here it will say that if you want to access a co server then you have to uh, define a traffic policy that is based on TLS for the client and so we'll use the Istio mutual uh, connection so now uh, if you connect back to the service and you curl the application you'll see it's answering not only it's answering but also you'll see a new header that provides the certificate that is currently used so it's just a reference to the certificate not the certificate itself but anyway You can see that if you access it from the web, you'll get the same kind of things. That's because you, we've, we've defined the, the policy and the destination rule uh, globally. So you'll see that you can actually access the service from the outside. The second demonstration will show how you can integrate a service like O0 on the edge of an Istio mesh. It validates a JOT token in order to grant access to a service running in the mesh. In this demonstration, we'll use OS0 on this ability to generate uh, JOT tokens to connect to an Istio mesh. In order to do it, we'll create an API and we'll name it Echo and we'll create the identifier with the name of the Istio uh, gateway. So in that case, istio.red.noops.io. I will simply create the API. The API itself creates a machine-to-machine -machine application. We can verify it here. We can also go to the application. We'll see the same application here. Go to the setting. Uh, it provides a client ID, client secret. That's what we will use later. And if you go to the bottom of it and look at the advanced settings, you'll see the certificate, but also the endpoints, the one we'll use, this one for instance, to, so that uh, Istio can get to it. So we'll look at the origin authentication parameters. You have to create a job declaration and you can just apply this policy to uh, to Istio. That's it. If you look at the quick start part of the application, you'll get uh, the all the commands in the case of uh, OS0. So you can just uh, call the command. It already has the client ID and the token. Uh, the client secret. So you can just uh, get the token from here. We will simply copy paste the token into sorry the uh, the uh, the Joe token uh, environment variable so I we can use it easily later can also directly check uh, the Jot website here for the validity of the token you see that the token has been issued it's valid and it has been issued by uh, the noops.os0.com issuer. Now you can curl the uh, URL of the service. If you do so, just uh, curl http.echo.red.noops.io and don't provide the token. You see there is an error saying the origin authentication has failed. 
where if you kill with the uh, authorization bearer that contains the token okay there's an error I'll get back to it right now yeah here double quote you see that you get an answer and not only you get the answer but it gets the certificate and the authorization bureau with the token so the application in that case got the the values inside that's pretty much it so if you want to check the service right now you look at the pods you connect to the nginx pod we created in the previous demonstration and you simply do a curl you'll see that it gets the same error so even if you inside it you don't have it and that's it i'll summarize with a quick wrap-up Istio provides two ways to authenticate your services on clients. Mutual TLS is used for service-to-service -service authentication. It fully manages keys, deployment, and provides third-party integration for services like Vault Certificate Authority. It allows full traffic encryption. It also is the basis for other services like policies and works with authorizations. On the other end, JOT tokens are used for origin authentication. It allows to easily integrate JOT token services like OpenID Connect, including the one from Google, or Zero, and many others. It can be used to propagate the user identity through the microservice stack so that a backend service knows who the user is and provides fine-grained security. Those features only require minimum integration of the application, and that's why Service Mesh is so popular and powerful. I hope you've liked this video. I'll come back with other demonstrations about Istio pretty soon, so stay tuned and don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel.